Hello, everybody, <clears throat> and welcome to the video that is going to start right now. Um, I have a question to answer. So, here we go. I was supposed to do this like last week, and I completely spaced. So, um, as you can see by the messiness of the beard, um, I am having a hard time remembering things. So, okay, um, this is a super cool question. It is, what do you feel about giving a hundred plus page ebook for free? Would you only do it for a limited time? Can you do it without a website? Okay, this is a really fun question because if any of you kind of get off on marketing, which I know a very small portion of creative people actually do, but if you do, this is a really, really fun thing to do. Now, there are a couple different... Um, ways to go about this. So um, the 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 quick and easy answer to this is yes. Um, it is cool to do stuff like that. Um, right now, if you go over to my website, I hate mattwall.com, there is a free ebook there um, that is a bunch of stories and poems that um, I posted up on my site last year. Now, what we call that in the biz is repurposing content. So that content, um, you can go through my website and look and read all that stuff if you want to, or um, it's all in a nice little handy dandy ebook if you wanna take a look at that. <clears throat> um, repurposing content is something that a lot of bloggers do and a lot of article writers do. So for instance, like um, if you have ever, especially if you follow topics and you get like a uh, Google sending you stuff about certain topics, um, if you like are reading an article and you're like, dude, this article sounds so like the same crap I read about six months ago. Um, but it looks different, and I'm, uh, I don't know. Like, is this the same article? It probably is, because a lot of people who do online content like that will um, rotate their stuff as long as it's evergreen or current, like that it will never go out of fashion. They repurpose it and send it out. And if it's something like, um, and this isn't exactly what the question asks, but it all kind of comes together here. Um, if it's something that could be updated, they would update it and then have it go up. So, um, the free ebook is a good idea. Now, there are many different ways to do this. If you do um, free ebooks on Amazon, <clears throat> as a lot of authors who are on here on YouTube know, Amazon doesn't let you give away free stuff on their store because it's a store. And so they don't want you to do that. But Amazon also um, does price match guarantees. So the way to make your book what they call perma-free is to put it up on like draft to digital or um, Barnes and Noble or Kobo or any of these other shops and put it as free on there. And then you write Amazon um, through KDP and go, hey, my book is um, free on uh, Kobo. Can you um, price match this book? And it usually takes, uh, I've had it get taken care of in like two days, but um, I've also had it take up to like a week or so to have that done. <clears throat> But I would say if like two or three days go by and they haven't price matched it, 
go ahead and write them again and um, make sure you put links to the price match so um, they could take care of that. Now, um, a lot of this all comes back to um, marketing and email marketing. So when you are doing a free ebook of any kind, the question I always ask people when they ask me this, I'm like, what is, what is your why? Like, why do you want to do this? Is it just to get your stuff out there and just like throw it out and hope that people take a look at it? Because if that's what you want to do, there are hundreds of ways to do that without giving a free ebook. Like, you could have your own website where you post your stuff. You can um, submit stuff to magazines or other websites. You can go on Instagram or Facebook or Wattpad. I hear that is still a thing. Um, all of these places where you could just post your stuff. Um, but if the idea in doing something like this is to collect email addresses of people who are interested in your stuff... So when a book of yours does come out, you can write them and go, hey, like you got, you're getting this email from me because you downloaded my free ebook off wherever and I hope you liked it and um, I hope you really liked it because now I have a book for sale and if you'd like to support me and blah, 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 however you write your emails. So um, whenever you do something like this, whether it's a free book on Amazon or um, a free download from some site, usually um, collecting email addresses is what the currency is for doing something like that. Because then you could start kind of procreating, um, that's not the right word, let's say procuring your fan base so you know who actually likes your stuff um so there's that and then another question in this was do you need to have a website to do this and you don't um i suggest you do like any artist of any kind should have their own website because that is now their like real estate um and when you're just using stuff like Instagram or Facebook or anything like that. This is called digital sharecropping where um, you put all this stuff on there. You gain this big fan base. You have all this stuff. But then if Instagram shuts down or if um, you get booted off a platform or anything like that, you're gone and you don't have any of the information of those people who were digging your daily posts every day. Okay. So having a place where people start to go and make a habit of going is a really important thing to building your audience. Now, if you don't want to do that or you don't have the capabilities of building a website or like just making a quick WordPress site, if you go to like MailChimp, which is sort of free, for um, a newsletter, email, service provider kind of thing, which I'm not horribly thrilled with, but they're okay. Mailer Light is also pretty good, um, especially it doesn't cost anything. Um, they have options to where you could get like a landing page. So if you're like, oh, click this link to get my book, they click this link and that link will take them to just a page generated by MailChimp or MailerLite or whatever. That just, it's one page and it just has one button. There's nothing else to do. It's like, get my book now, dang it, or whatever. And then they put their email address in, click the button, and then that will automatically send them um, your book. There is another site um, service called Book Funnel that I used to use a lot because when I was writing a lot of different genres of stuff, I had mailing lists for each genre I was writing in. 
And so each genre had a free book to kind of hook people in to move them to the next thing. So I used Book Funnel because I had all these different, and it is it is what it sounds like. And if you know um, email marketing or anything like that, or sales, having a funnel is what you want. Like you want to bring, wait, where, where are my hands? Bring people in like a funnel and then um, get your funnel-y things, okay? So book funnel is a thing where you could store a bunch of different books up there or um, any kind of digital content that you want um, sent out on different things, people doing email stuff. Look, I am not a good um, marketing instructor, obviously, but I'm sure there are hundreds of thousands of people on YouTube who really think they are amazing at email marketing. And you could just type email marketing for beginners um, into um, the YouTubes and find all sorts of information. Um, like there's uh, another guy called, um, especially for authors, there's this guy called Nick Stevenson who has some really good um, ideas when it comes to email marketing and how to do those things. Um, and in fact, think about the emails you get in your inbox. Think about which ones you actually open. Because I'm sure some of you have subscribed to newsletters and whatnot for whatever reason. And some of the emails you get even if you're not going to buy anything from them, you open them and read them all the time because the emails themselves are put together nicely. They look good. Um, what they have to say is helpful. You know, it's like good content. And um, this whole video has gone from something very little into something very big. But this is the reason why people give away free stuff so they can like kind of take care of their readers. So think about the emails you go through and what you have. And um, it's like that Austin Cleon thing, steal like an artist. So take things from email lists that you belong to and borrow them because I'm guaranteeing this to you. Those motherfuckers stole that from somebody else too. It's just, it's the nature of the beast kind of thing. So, yeah, don't plagiarize, but you know what I'm saying. So, um, but what I will tell you is that there are a lot of people out there who will tell you, like, oh, check this out. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this webinar, blah, 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 blah. You're going to learn how to do this. You're going to learn how to do that. And then you go to the webinar and you learn how to do this. You learn how to do that. You learn how to do that. Okay, and now for only $997, um, I'm going to teach you how to... Um, make enough money in 37 hours to buy a car or something like that. Don't fall right away. Don't fall right away for one of these things where people are trying to sell you something because that's what they do. They're trying to sell you stuff because that's what they do. Now, if you are one of these people who have absolutely no idea how to do anything and you're willing to pay the money to have somebody either tell you or to have somebody actually do it for you, then go ahead. But if you are familiar with how to Google search or search on YouTube, you really don't need to be paying money for any information like that. There's so much information online for free that you really don't have to do anything like that. So with all of that being said, yes, it is good to um, give away a free ebook. But make sure you have a goal for why you want to do that. Because if all you want to do is put your stuff out and have people read it, you don't even need the ebook. There are pl plenty of places to do that. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions, especially about this kind of stuff, um, because I don't know how many people are actually talking about this minutia crap 
that um, is actually kind of interesting, but also in the weeds and kind of boring. So let me know uh, if you have any questions down below, and um, I will talk to you soon. Go buy shit poems. It's all my Etsy shop. And if you go to my website, you can get my free ebook. So um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye.